Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. We are currently about 2 hours and 50 minutes late because the servers have not been online just yet. But the plan for this league is very simple, obtaining a dragon trophy. I have every single dragon trophy in the game so far. Somehow they're not in my bag, so I don't know where they are, but I promise you I've been dragon in every single league. And the plan is to be dragon in this league as well. We're gonna jump onto the servers. We have a good plan ahead of us. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we are in. Look at this. We got collection logs. Welcome to League's 5 Raging Echoes. Let's get started. We start off by just following the quest symbol, clicking the leagues icon, clicking tasks. We also have masteries there. We click continue, 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 and continue. We're speedrunning this right now. Oh, finally. Three hours and a half of waiting, and we can now play the game. Here we will learn about areas, obviously the first area we're going Karamja, and the future areas I will explain as I take them. So let's say Karamja here immediately, let's go ahead and unlock those. What is going on here? Why is this guy smacking so hard? Oh my, I got a little creator, I forgot we're getting all these pets and stuff. This is from the last league, I ended up pulling a ton of pets, but there it is. Oh my goodness, we're getting learned everything and we can already grab our very first um, task. Power miner makes the mining good, lumberjack makes the woodcutting good, animal wrangler is what we would like. So what this does is the harpoon will now act as a non-degradable variant of the crystal equipment, which is amazing. Uh, basically, we can fish forever, but also when we hunt, um, we get bonuses. I'm not gonna go too much into this because I want to begin. So let's go and select animal wrangler. Confirm it, and there we go. We now have a Echo Harpoon, which is also a very good weapon source. If we click rank here, we also see the rank. Obviously, the goal is to get to Dragon Tier, and we're gonna start off by clicking the Steel Skin, speaking to Hans, and let's start doing a lot of tasks, basically. Yeah, I just wanna see, like, this stuff still master is. Okay, let's just learn about that really quick as well before we continue. Okay, so we drained our prayer. Uh, can I get my Draymond stuff? Let's see. Collect items. Nice, we now have Draymond staff as well, that's very important to have. And we have some impling jars, and we have a strange, strange... Okay, that's perfect, we have just about everything. Now we can begin. We sell the bow. Sell the net. Sell the bronze sword. We buy a knife. Go to the pub east and buy two beers. I'm just gonna quickly sprint to the bank, even if it might be inefficient a little bit. This I think I can still keep on me. Oh, we have all of these Trailblazer stuff on the thingy as well, that's kinda cool. Okay, I just cleared my inventory just a tiny bit. We now need to run up here and kill a chicken with our fists. So let's figure this out right now. So punching and chicken. Oh, this might actually be harder than expected, not gonna lie. There might be a lot of people- Oh, there's a chicken! Go, go, go! Okay, easy. There we go. I think we get like a good bonuses from just using the Echo Harpoon, like just wielding it. So that should be a task. That was not a task, apparently. Well, burying the bones is, I guess. Oh, maybe it's because I was wearing the Harpoon. Hold up. Uh, kill a chicken with your fists. Okay, yeah, you cannot wear a Harpoon when you do that. That's fine. That's good to know. So I need to pick this. And we need to cry as well. That's a task right there. And now we're snowballing. Now we can start making pot of flour real quick. Oh, there it is. Needle in a haystack. 30 points for that one. Easy. Now we make some flour. But before we continue, support the channel by listening to today's sponsor, Buddha.dev. Buddha.dev is back once again supporting the channel, so I'm here to tell you more about them. Their mission is to simply teach you programming. They focus on Python and Go programming languages, and the reason why I find them really cool is because they make learning how to code very fun and unique. As you're learning, you'll be gaining experience, levels, achievements, and you can also complete quests and fight to be on the global leaderboards. Our friend at Buddha.dev believe that the best way to learn is to never be bored. The way they accomplish that is by creating a self-paced platform that feels like you're playing a captivating RPG game. Buddha.dev is also designed to make you writing a ton of code as this is by far the best way to learn and since they don't want you to feel like you're spending money on something that isn't helping you, they offer a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back policy. But if you're still unsure, you can also test out a free demo of every course with all its interactive features. So, if you want to learn how to code, make sure you click the link in the description, use the code MIKARES, you'll get 25% off your first month or even your first year if you choose the annual plan. Once again, a big shout-out to Buddha.dev for continually supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. We pick the flower, that's extra points right there, we're already up to 140. Fetch some arrow shafts. 
Ah, it's so good to have a plan. And I think we can drop this. Okay, and now we burn one of these as well for another task. That's a burning a log as well. We're now gonna do 10 laps of Drainer. Maybe a little bit more until we get a Mark of Grace as well. But also I probably wanna deposit most of my bank here. We're getting a bunch of pop-ups for completing a lap, for getting level ups. But most importantly, I think I also found Mark of Grace, which is very lucky. This is one of those things I wanted to get kind of quickly. It's all the way on the other side. I actually banked my axe and I shouldn't have, but that's fine. Okay, so that's the Mark of Grace and apparently we get four of them. Uh, but that's a 30 point task that I got for just being lucky. Okay, the laps are fine for now. I'll do 10 later, but because we got Mark of Grace, we can probably skip this part and just continue right now. So we're gonna bank everything but the Draymond staff, runes, beer and coins. And we're gonna start off the Vampire Slayer here. Oh, this teleport's kinda cool, no? First time, checking the teleport. Yo, the animations go kind of hard, I like it. That is very cool. That's a task right there as well. We're gonna do some speedruns here, so we're gonna pray at an altar. That's a task. We're gonna move here and ask for a quest from Bob. He's not happy about it, that's 10 points. We're now gonna run to graveyard and dance. That's gonna be a 10 pointer. And now we're gonna visit death really quickly. And that's quick points right there as well. Okay, wait, so wait, let me click again. So what, option three, <laughs> sorry. Uh, where can I learn more about security? Okay, okay. Teleport to Stronghold. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Light work. Okay, so this lamp is sketchy. Part of me wants to put it into prayer because it can help me early. Part of it wants me to put it into... I don't really know. Where do you put the lamps? I think I maybe need to put it in prayer, to be honest. We, we might save it for a little bit, though. I agree with that. We just need to kill a goblin. And the re Oh, no. Oh, my God, I could have died there. I had the left click use instead of drink. Oh my god, I could have ended badly. I like that people are respectful. Okay, there we go. Kill a goblin holding a spear. So apparently this counts as a spear. I am so confused. I got a bronze axe. That's huge. And defeat a goblin counted as well. Very nice. <laughs> apparently the goblin had the spear hold up. I was cooking a little bit there. Dude, I thought I, I thought it counted as me having a spear, bro. There we go. Kill a rat. Defeated. Apparently it drops bones. Huge. Now we need to get some fancy shoes. Here fishy fishies. It gives you three fishing. Oh, that's a perform a special attack completely unknowing. We take those. There we go. That's 10k right there. And now we just need to get fancy shoes for the last task of the stronghold for now. Okay, so here it's important we don't die. How do we do that is if we take damage, we immediately eat. So we wait for the hit. We eat. We go through. And that's how you do it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we obviously take some fancy boots. There we go. 30 points for that one. Very solid. Quickly trading Pexa. We're gonna get ourselves a steel full helm. Uh, that's gonna be a task, but I don't have defense, so maybe I can train defense. And now I need to drink a beer in the long hull. There we go. That's a task. 10 points. Thank you. So there we go. That guy is dead. And I equip my steel full helm. I get my coins. I keep my bones. And we run north to Edgeville here. Maybe that's equip some steel armor on top of that. We're gonna buy spiny helmet and enchanted the gem. Can I check this? That's a task. Can I wear this? That's a task as well. Beautiful. Okay, so he said to get a task. I'm gonna get a task as well then. Let's see what our first task is gonna be. We'll do this later. Oh, it's spiders. Okay, that's that's pretty solid. We're now in Xanaris. That's a little bit of points. And we can now immediately go to DKR and continue. Okay, we can deposit our inventory. We need to utilize our lamp right now. I'm just gonna put it in prayer right now because I know that it's gonna be useful. It's only 100 XP. Like, we'll take that, no problem. And now we do partial Demon Slayer and all the tasks on the way, basically. Okay, that's one key out of three. We're chilling. There we go. That's gonna be that. Okay, we're gonna buy a house right now. So yeah, I didn't check like what quests are auto-completed here. 47, that's a lot of quests. Yes, please. So that's me buying a house for a thousand dollars. Okay, I did not know in my all years of playing this game that you can get the haircut in Varok. I promise you I did not know that. If you knew, honestly, I don't know. Boom, haircut completed, come on. There we go. 10 coins, I mean 10, 10 tasks. I did not know this was possible. Well, today I learned. So that is another one. How close are we? We should be very close. Yeah, very close to the next relic. We want to unlock the next relic before doing anything. So mine. Thank you. Oops, it fell off and shattered. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Nice. 10 pointer. So we quickly pick the cabbage down there. Speak to Dr. Horlow. Continue the demon slayer part of the quest. 
No, Vampire Slayer, whatever it is. Pickpocket Woman in the Bar until 15 Thieving. All right, let's get 15 Thieving quickly here and uh, we can then continue with everything. One of the times we have to open all of these coin pouches at once. That should be a big task right there. That's 30 and we're getting extremely close to unlocking a new relic, which uh, we want to do. Uh, but first we need 15 Thieving still, so let's keep on going. But I think I'm pretty lucky with my Thieving, so I don't even need to eat that much. Alright, there's 15 thieving. I can now go to the sword shop just across the street and buy a couple of things. First thing we need to do is buy an iron dagger, mithril dagger and adamant dagger. We have enough money for that. We equip an iron dagger, that's a task. I don't think I can do any of the other ones yet though. There we go, we got him. Oh, nature runes, that's really good I think. That is really good. Oh hell no! <laughs> light work, light work, not even close. We just reached level 100 total level. We're now just burning logs and chopping trees until 15 fire making. And if you're doing this yourself, I'll show you a cool trick right now. If you have a log, you can use a knife. On a log, click spacebar and then click on the log and it should... Uh, wait, you need to move as well, by the way. So like this, this and this. So you need to do one step and it's gonna insta-chop it. But the plan, quickly, 15 fire making, 15 wood cutting. And then we're gonna fletch everything else into arrow shafts. That's a fire making completed. That's a ram defeated for 10. Yeah, so burning some oak logs was also a task. That's good. We now need three red berries. Okay, that's a task. And then I need to compost it and then I need to pick this stuff up. I don't know what I need to do with this barley. Okay, that was a task. Plant these now. Okay, and now pay the farmer for protection. Where is he? Three buckets of compost. Oh! That's why I need buckets of compost. Hold up, I'm cooking. Okay, can win, can win. There we go, that's task. Pick up my stuff. <laughs> I'm honestly just red berries. Okay, listen, it's fine, we solved it. Mistelin League teleport back to Lumbi. We're so close, by the way, like 50 points. So how do you teleport back to Lumbi with League? Areas? Karamja? Teleport. Okay. There we go, kill a duck with a fire strike, thank you. Then I should be able to complete this quest. So there you go, that completes Cook's assistant immediately. I can now cook raw chicken. Bro, I only have one. Imagine this burns. It didn't burn, that's huge. And we can now get a second relic. Okay, let's go, that's big, that's big, that's big, let's do this. If you do not want to miss future uploads, consider subscribing. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, this is the important one. All of these are really good. My plan is to start off with the dodgy deals. This is gonna basically fix my money issues and the thieving is gonna be a lot easier early on. So pickpocketing an NPC will also pickpocket all NPCs of similar type in an 11 by 11 square. It's also gonna allow me to have a little bit of a breeding room in real life. It's gonna be very good early on. If we look at the friendly forager, also a very good option, it gives you herbs whilst you're skilling basically, but it is not what I'm going for. And corner cutter is free agility, you get these awesome boots. We are planning on taking this as we reach tier 4, we are going reloaded. I'll give you that much for a spoiler right now, but for the start, dodgy deals is by far the best option we can take here. And 100% success rate on all thieving checks is gonna be phenomenal. Our league multiplier XP goes up as well, so let's go ahead and claim ourselves the dodgy deals. Let me just make sure I'm not missing this. Dodgy deals, we're good. Pickpocketing NPCs, automatically repickpocket an NPC, minimum coin pouch increase. That's perfect. Let's select it. Let's confirm it. There we go. The first relic is now unlocked. Very, very good. Cool little trick we can do here is we can buy fishing bait. We're gonna buy 200 for the continuation that we need to do. Oh, and I forgot to use the chicken on the thingy to try and burn it. Let's see. Can I burn it here? Oh, there we go. We can. Easy. 10 points for that, and now we need to go to Hem Hindout and get 38 thieving. Obviously, we cannot fail, so that should be very easy. Oh my goodness, there is a situation going on down here. Oh my... Seven easy clue scrolls in one pickpocket. <laughs> Steel pickaxe, hold up. Wait, this shit is crazy. Wait a second, wait a second. We got clue scrolls, we got pickaxe. Wait, this shit is bad. What do I keep? Okay, we keep this. We don't need bronze, we don't need iron. Steel dagger, maybe a bit of money. Uh, bronze dagger, no. Knife, no. Cowhide, I will keep. Okay, wow, that's seven in one go. Let me... I need to get rid of all of this on the floor. Wow, what's going on, man? Look, okay, we have a steel axe as well. So all we needed was a steel axe, 
steel pickaxe, and now I need a grimy guam. And with this, we just achieved everything we needed from here, and now I just need to finish 38 thieving, and I'm gone from this place. Perfect. We have guam, we have steel pickaxe, we have a steel axe. Well, we have a lot of those, but yeah, this is what I wanted. And there is 38 thieving, we can now pickpocket master farmers, we now get away from this place, we have everything we need. We create a few dice from the Aggie, the witch, and then we continue. <laughs> by the way, yeah, I just noticed, 71 easy clue scrolls in my inventory, by the way. 47 steel pickaxes, nice! That's some points right there, we're gonna just clean all of them for now, and we're gonna make a nice herb tab this time around. I'm just gonna leave one grimy, or a few grimy, so that was 25 guam leaves also cleaned, very good. We make a few dyes very quickly here from Aggie, with the onions and red berries as well. Red dye, yellow dye, we use this on each other, we create an orange dye, we use this on the cape, we create an orange cape, we wear it 10 pointer. Buy a chronicle, I'm gonna buy 5 pages because I'm a rebel, use them on this, uh, wield it, and we thieve Master Farmer for a little bit. Beautiful, 30 points, hold up. If I tactically, all settings, uh, level up, interface, turn that off, okay, no more interruptions, so I still should see the level ups, and if I quickly pickpocket, I can run to the toilet, come back, have full inventory of loot, let's see if it works, so hands are in the air right now, let's see what happens. So I get like a ding 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 ding, but... I don't get the, like, level up thingy. Okay, so I ran to the toilet, came back, I'm now 52 thieving, let's get one more level since it's about to happen. 53, have I done any special tasks as well? Have I gotten a Ranar seed? I don't think I have, but I've definitely gotten level 50, so now we can continue. We're gonna get scammed by the candle seller, right here in Lumbridge, for a thousand gold we're gonna buy a candle. That's a task, and now we can go back to Varok. Steal from the Varok stall, and then have Elsie tell you a story. So giving her a cup of tea, a nice little quick task as well. Okay, let's analyze Orlando Smith, I think I've done everything. That should give me a good XP drop here. There it is, 10 points, but most importantly, I forgot I turned the level up messages off. We're now 25 Slayer and Hunter, let's turn the level up messages back on for now. Information clerk, Northwest... This. this is supposedly gonna give me a ton of mining XP. That's 8,000 mining, so we're up to 25, 28, 25, <laughs> up to 25 mining already from doing nothing. Solid. And with that, we also reached 250 total, giving us some extra points. And now I can go and kill some guards. Okay, that was uh, defeat a guard, and now we just pickpocket till 27. Okay, that's another level, 54 thieving. If I click this, that should give me another task. That is obtain 800 coins at once, 30 tasks. We now bank everything and continue on with a little bit of skilling. Okay, we now grab the harpoon, the axe, some bait, coins, and some runes. And we're now going to Karamja and doing some tasks there. Yeah, that's the first one. Picking a pineapple. Then we enter it build mode. That's 10 points right there. And now I need to parlor and build that. And that's plus 30 right there. Pick a pineapple, now we need to kill a snake. That's gonna do it. And now we need to go to Brimhaven Dungeon. Okay, we're going in with no food. I don't like this. I should have done this with the food. That's plus 30 right there though. Okay, I think it's gonna be alright here. If I can just get this guy as well. So this is gonna unlock my very first mastery. We're gonna pick up what he drops. There we go. We're gonna quickly talk to this guy and help him unlock it. So he wants a ring, coins, and bar. Ring, coins, bar, we're gonna unlock it. This might be a task. It ended up not being a task, but what's important right now is I can unlock my masteries. And this is where the commitment already takes place. Damage rolls beneath 30% of max hit with range are increased to 30%. So I am immediately going to go 6 range and then probably 3 melee, 1 magic, start off with range of course, get this to 6 as fast as possible, we are gonna be going range for sure. I'm committed now, this is where the first commitment takes place, so let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, we're gonna be a ranger on this account. Let's just do it. Let's just do it before I forget and before I change my mind. We're taking range. And on top of that, my ammo is now 95% saved. And I should also do the same to get more runes, so I might just quickly get out and get more runes because I wasted a bunch.
but now my runes will be saved as well. 10 and 1. Because that also completes the buy 10 from the trader. We now eat one. That's gonna be another task. Beautiful. We need to run and kill an imp. We're gonna use earth strikes for that. And then we're gonna go and kill a lesser demon. Basically, that's kind of the plan right now. I hope they don't hit a 9. Because if they hit a 9, I'm probably dead. That's imp defeated. We should now be able to scatter some ashes as well. That's a task. It should be at least. There we go. Uh, let's kill a lesser demon. If I die, it is what it is. It's been a good run. That's gonna be a good task. Nice XP as well. And I'm now saving runes as well, which is beautiful. That's what we like to see. Hitting 14s, by the way. There we go. That's gonna be a bunch of points. And now we need to do a Tazar as well real quick. Ooh, we can unlock a new area as well. Oh, but I don't know which one to pick first. The decisions, man. The decisions. There's a Tazar defeated. We pick up some Tokul. We're gonna go into the fight caves and we're gonna kill a bat. And then we're gonna leave the fight caves. That's kind of the play right here. There we go. We're gonna get this guy sorted here. There we go. He didn't make it. That should be a diary task. And as soon as... Yeah, it already did it. So I can leave. And now I need to somehow find a non-competitive banana tree that I can pick five of. <laughs> but like... Oh, there is the bananas. Hold up. We can do it. There we go. Those are the bananas for the easy diary as well. And I think now we start fishing a little bit. We're now going to do a little bit of catching here. We caught a shrimp. That's done. Now we need to catch an anchovy. Wait, how do you catch an anchovy? Oh yeah, I need to be 15 fishing, right? Okay, apparently we're also cooking food. Yo, I forgot about that. We're already 16 cooking. Wait, we're absolutely chilling, by the way. Okay, now we caught an anchovy as well. Now I need to catch a herring and sardines. So for sardines, I think I need to bait, right? Apparently I caught a herring as well. So we're gonna do this till 25. And it should also cook as 10 sardines at the same time. And then it's just catch 100 lobsters, cook 100 lobsters. And then we move on to new things. Okay, so that's cooking 10 sardines. I still haven't caught 25 sardines though. So we keep on baiting for now. And that is catching 25 sardines as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to release a crazy fishing technology strategy. You spam click the fishing spot. And because of the 50% fail rate... It basically works, apparently. So as you can see, we are getting XP. I changed my left click option to be bait. And we do this till 40. And as soon as we're 40, we do this on lobsters as well. I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to see if it works. Let's get one more level first. Obviously, we're only doing this now in the early game. There is no way I'm doing this later. Uh, but let's attempt it right now. So that's 40. We can now do cage here. So let's see. So how does this work? If I'm doing lobsters and I'm spam clicking, that's one lobster. That's two lobsters. Oh no, that's three lobsters. Wait, it's actually working, guys. Oh hell no. Oh hell no, it's actually working. <laughs> no, I need to do a hundred lobsters. My fingers, man. My fingers are collapsing. That is catching 100 lobsters. And we now have enough to also unlock a third relic here. So area I'm still not unlocking. Even though I know what I'll take. I don't know the logic behind it fully. But let's go ahead and unlock the new relic. Do I need to go to the bank for this? So obviously here I will unlock the clue compass. Can I just do it? I might be able to just do it. Combat skills will now have a two times multiplier. And bigger and badder will be automatically unlocked. And slayer points are going to be five times and superior rates are going to be increased. So the reason why I'm taking this is because first of all, you can teleport directly to some banks with this already, making the bank heist useless. Yeah, like any deposit box bank or bank chest, like I don't really care about it necessarily. I mean, I guess it still teleports you all around the game, right? And then Ferris Flight also kind of teleports you all around the game. But I think a no-brainer pick here is Clue Compass. We're going to run with it. We're going to go with it. Uh, this one is just the best. So what it does is... Obviously, it allows you to teleport to any stash unit. For example, you can teleport to Shiloh a Bank with that. An ability to teleport you directly to your current clue stamp. That's going to be phenomenal. Uh, and then, obviously, you can do it from Wilderness as well. And uh, you cannot teleport to what you have not unlocked. So, we're going to select this. Uh, clue Compass. Select. Confirm. I do need to be in the bank. So, let's go to Shiloh Bank immediately. So, Torch. Tinderbox. I light it. That's a task. So that is catching 10 pikes. Now we need to cook them as well. Uh, well, we need to cook 20 actually. So we're just doing all the fishing tasks right now that are going to give us a ton of points. Wait, I'm literally here at the bank. But my dumbass forgot to unlock the compass. Hold up. Uh, let's go ahead and select it and see how this looks. Beautiful. There it is. The clue compass. Beautiful. Nice, we have now unlocked it and we are now 960 points away 
from the relic we wanna obtain today, which is a tier 4. Well, I say today, I say in this video, I wanna reach tier 4 relics. So that is 960 points to go. So let's analyze how this works. You can teleport to the current step. You can also teleport to Barbarian Village. Dick site. Oh my goodness. Right. How do, where is the Shiloh Village Bank? What do I need to click? Lumbridge, Swamp, Windmill, Bob, Lumbridge. Okay. Shiloh Village right there. So I don't have an option to just uh, insta click it. Maybe I could set it up. I don't think I can. I have a last destination though, so technically I could. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to be teleporting right now because I have things I need to complete here. But I am looking forward to that. And we can now uh, just go ahead and cook this. This guy made a fire, so I'm just going to cook it here. I'm going to try to manually cook all of those and all of the lobsters. It is going to be a little bit faster than to keep fishing, I think. Uh, and this is going to complete some very easy and good point tasks. Yeah, so that is cooking 20 pikes. And that is catching a salmon on Karamja. That's 30. We now need to catch 50 of the salmon as well. So earlier I was like overcooking with my spam clicking. CXP drop, click on the thingy. CXP drop, click on the thingy. CXP drop, click on the thingy. That's how we like to play it. Just like that. And that is catching 50 salmon as well. We're 860 points away from unlocking the next relic. We got an insider information as well, so we are actually gonna go ahead and unlock our first area as well. For now, all I'm gonna say is we're gonna start off by unlocking the desert, okay? That's all you need to know for now. We see echoes right here. What this is gonna create is Calphite Queen Echo. It is an elite difficulty. It is a 1 in 30. I don't really know how this works. It drops the blowpipe. And Ranger with the blowpipe, I think it's gonna be just super fun. Now, in theory, the blowpipe you get from Zoldra is better because it has bigger strength, right? But this one has higher accuracy, which isn't that important, but it's gonna help us early on if we can get it, okay? And Desert also unlocks TOA for me. If I were to switch this with Tiranan, I wouldn't have a raid and I wanna use a Tebow. So, Desert, I'm not gonna overcook it here. Let's just go ahead and unlock it. You'll see how fun it will be. I'm looking forward to it. Drygor Blowpipe with the Echo Cal fight. It's coming soon. Let's go ahead and unlock it. And let's see how far away we are from the next area as well. Because this can also help speed up the process of obtaining these 860 points here. So yeah, only 94 tasks. This is light work. But first, let's go ahead and cook all our lobsters. Obviously, we cannot burn them. So we can finish this task very quickly. Hey, there it is. Cooking 100 lobsters. Let's go ahead and catch 50 swordfish very quickly as well. We just caught 50 swordfish. Uh, meaning we can now go ahead and teleport to Draenor to finish our 10 laps real quick. Yeah, look, Draenor Village Market. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look, and I can just do my 5 more laps to finish that task that I didn't finish earlier. With this jump, we now completed 10 laps of the Draenor course. That's 30 points, 770 to go. I have this now. What do I do? <laughs> hey, yo, wh what do I do with this? Allows you a luxurious sleep. Oh, I've never done this in my life of playing this video game, let me tell you. I'm enjoying my dinner at the moment, so we're gonna be panning for a jade temporarily here in the dig site. That wasn't too bad, we found a jade and some nuggets and some empty oyster. Solid, let's keep on doing stuff around the dig site. Alright, Terry Bolodano, use the build buckle, speak to him real quick. Oh, we got an exam, let's go! Okay, let's analyze the XP drops here from the lamps. And because this is a random event, I don't know if you get the points for this. You do, look at this. Completed the surprise exam random event for 30. So you really want to be doing those? And we also want to put some points on prayer here. 1.6k, 14 prayer for free. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. And now, can I give belt buckle to this guy as well? And provide Terry a buckle. There we go. Perfect. Another 30 pointer. 660 until the next relic. We're now visiting Fossil Island. That's 10 points, and if I can find the dog here, I should be able to pet him really quickly. And we can now compass teleport directly to Draenor as well. And boom, just like that, we're basically ready to complete Vampire Slayer as well. This is so sick, but unfortunately, my dumbass forgot an air staff. I actually don't need it, we're fine, we I can just cast it manually, it's okay. Do I need to use a stake on him, or does he just die? He just dies, we get 4.8k attack XP, but really, we go from 1 to 47 attack. That gives me 30 points. I can now equip my Mithril Dagger. That will give me points. I can now equip my Adamant Dagger. That will give me more points. And just like that, we are now only 540 points away from the next relic. So, chair follows me. Complete this. Equip this. Got a chair to follow me. There we go. 10 pointer. Thank you. 
Okay, so I want to finish my food right now, but I also make a little bit of coin. So let's see if the technology from the last league still works in this league. So we got all of this cowhide from literally... I think I got all of that from ham members. So we have a lot of needle, we have a lot of thread. I can turn this and train my crafting. The goal is to be able to cut sapphires. So we need to get up to 20 crafting to cut sapphires and then we can start making easy money. Okay, and there is the leather body and actually I don't think I needed to do all of that because I think I have some uncuts, jades and opals. So I just need to get myself a chisel and we can cut all of those and get to 20 super fast as well. Uh, do I get any more XP for unlocking the next area or relic? Let's see, relic, the next one, so tier 4 if I go reloaded, passive. No, just item drops. Okay, so that's no problem. So I can skill a little bit right now and not feel bad about it. And there we go. We're now at 20 crafting, meaning we can start doing sapphires. I'm just going to finish this inventory and move directly to sapphires. So this method is going to become even better later on once we finally have the banker's relic. But for now, I can utilize this early. And what this consists of is you trade the gem trader. And as you can see, we're going to start with 12k. You create your swapped left click to buy and you just buy all the sapphires. And if you look at the value here, we're going from 25 coins and then we can sell it for 250 coins. And once you move over to emeralds, it's even more profit. So buy a full inventory and then chisel it down AFK for now and then sell it all. That's also a little bit of points. Uh, but good crafting XP, basically a free 99 zero time once you have a banker's note and you make profit doing it as well. So this is what I'm going to do right now for a little bit while I'm eating. A slightly unexpected 500 total, already up to 44 crafting, getting very good XP per hour here for something that's making me money and is completely AFK. Okay, I'm happy with 52 crafting for now, no particular reason why I'm stopping here. I just want to move on with more tasks right now. Ladies and gentlemen, public service announcement. Get yourself a better teleport menu from the plugin hub and you can then click teleport on the clue compass and you can see only the places you want to teleport to, only the places that you have unlocked. That is so good. I'm happy to have that. Wow. Okay, let's analyze something. Am I able to immediately trade this guy for a Dorgi? Oh, it's beautiful. We already have it. That's 350. Uh, let's just get like... 3,000. Oh man, we can already basically begin range training with this as well. This is so good. So we need the bullseye lantern from here. Oh, there we go. We already got it. Oh my god, it's amazing. There it is. Smith uh, plate skirt was also the task. Uh, where's my bronze? But we have a little bit of fletching here once we decide to level that. And a few more tasks completed. Only 430 away from the next rally. We're now going to do a little bit of mining. First, we mine some copper ore. That's the copper ore. Now we need 5 tin ore, and that should be 5 tin as well. Now we just need to take care of 50 iron and 15 coal. That was mining 50 iron ore, I now need to take care of 15 coal. So this is going to take me a bit of time. And that is now 15 coal also mined, and from here on out, it's just iron until level 40 mining. Alright, that's a big 40. That is 40 mining, let's move on to new adventures. Okay, one, two, three, four, and that is the fifth bunny defeated. Thank you. Okay, and just like that, we have now successfully completed all the Karamja diaries. And we got an iron spear. That is a really good drop. I know it's needed for the Karam ones. So this and the agility potion is what we need. That is solid, actually. Hey, we're not gonna complain. Let's go ahead and cash in the first big XP lamp. We now have the gloves, but most importantly, the lamp. We utilize the lamp, put it on prayer, and we go to 33 prayer automatically. We can now pray basically everything and pretty close to, to the actual important prayers as well. So now it's really time to lock in and get those 270 points. I think the best thing for me to do is to just go and do a lap of pyramid plunder up until the point that I can. Our first level 60 is accomplished. I'm going all the way to 61, then doing a bit of pyramid. And then getting very close to unlocking the next rally. I'm gonna very quickly recharge prayer as well because I know this is one of the tasks as well. So that is me recharging the prayer that gives me more than 5 prayer points. That's 10 right there and I can now teleport directly to Pyramid Plunder and immediately jump into the game. So I can just start the minigame immediately and we're gonna do the first 6 or first 5 floors basically as deep as we can go. It should give us a bunch of points. That is 10 points. I just want to get the boots. I want to get the boots to train agility per mine. It's going to be so good, by the way. And that's another one. That's 10 more points. And that's another one. That's 10 more points. And that is a plus 30 points now. So 
more and more points. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're getting the shoes, but we're getting the shoes. And I think this is where it ends for me right now. Maybe I can go one more deeper. No, this is where it ends. To go deeper, I need 71 thieving. We're only 140 points away. That is extremely good. So we have all these easy clue scrolls, but I'm only completing one. So I open the clue scroll and then I can current step teleportation. Bro, this is so broken. Look, I can look at this. Look where it is. Okay, I need the spade. Sorry, let's grab a spade real quick. Oh my god, this is amazing. Dude, the clue scrolls are gonna be the most fun thing to do in this league, I'm telling you. And there it is. We got ourselves an easy casket. Let's take a look. This is gonna be nice points as well. And we get an amulet of magic with an iron plate body and a black plate body. So not only do we get 30 for completing a clue scroll, we also gain a unique, which is an extra 30. So that is beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, wear this amulet. It's gonna be good for now, to be honest. Basically, any steps that I had right now are so easy to complete because I can teleport all across the game. For example, have the Ned make you a rope. I'm already at the Ned, so I can just speak to him, give him this. He makes me a rope. Oh, I need four balls of wool. Well, that's a little bit awkward, but you get the idea. I can be everywhere. That's gonna be the crocodile defeated. Let's go thieve a couple of dudes real quick. That's plus 30, only 40 points missing. Oh, this could be a nice spot. Wait, 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 wait. That was plus 30, by the way. But look, I'm pickpocketing all of those guys at the same time. Maybe not bad, maybe not bad. But now, we just have one task to go. Until we unlock the fourth relic. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated Billy the Goat. And by running to the bank, I can now unlock my fourth relic. And I've done a lot of thinking when it comes to this. And uh, yeah, let's just say I'm very sure as to what I want to take. So let me take you through my thought process. So we have three options here. Golden God, extremely good option. If you're going for early game, you don't plan on playing leagues for too long. You basically have infinite amount of gold, infinite free max level in magic. Yeah, basically you can complete all the tasks that take money from you and you max out prayer. That's basically what Golden God is. It's prayer, it's money. For me, prayer is solved by simply having Fremenic unlocked, which is going to be my next area. And for me, money is solved by simply playing the game, okay? So I don't value this at all. Equilibrium, I really don't like it. It's basically just bonus XP across all the things that you're doing. I'm not a fan of it, but what I am a fan of is Reloaded. And you may be wondering, what the fuck is this? So basically, choose another relic from any tier below this one. And would you look at that? I'm looking into corner cutter 350 million agility non-stop agility drops is just it's just gonna be so good never fail agility to go with it i think this is gonna be epic i think this is gonna be really good basically you get xp based on your agility level uh so i cannot take it right now we are gonna take reloaded uh we're gonna select this and i i know i'm gonna go with this i'm so so sure of it so we are grabbing reloaded here and we are gonna confirm it and with this option, we now get to pick one more from the previous. Now, some people will like Friendly Forager. I think this is a good option. This is a good option. I wouldn't look into Lumberjack or Power Miner, personally. But uh, yeah, I know for a fact I want Corner Cutter. This is something I missed out on the last league. I didn't take Trickster. I'm taking it and I'm gonna enjoy it. While we're running around completing all the tasks, we're also gonna be getting basically free infinite agility XP. So what is there not to like? Let's grab it. And let's just select it. Let's not waste any more time. There it is, the corner cutter. I want to see them. Oh my goodness, there they are. The boots. We're going to be wearing those for an extremely long time until reaching 50 million agility XP. Look, we're going to sprint around a little bit. Wait about, wait about. Where's my XP drop? There it is, 128 agility. The more agility we have, the more XP we will get. And uh, this will also get further multiplied later on during the league. I'm excited about it. And I think this is easily the part where we can also end the first episode of the league. We ended on 2,510 total points gained with 149 tasks being completed as well. I'm super excited for this league. I'll be uploading videos every single day and streaming every single day, both on Twitch and on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, check the live streams, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one and bye-bye.